We have arrived at Mount Little Station here in the Flinders Ranges. We are checking out all their campsites. There's quite a few. This place is massive. You can, great for the kids, feeding animals, lots of things. There's donkeys and camels and there's even a wood oven pizza at the tavern. So we're so excited to be here checking out Mount Little Station. Mount Little Station is about four and a half hours drive from Adelaide CBD, around about 400 kilometers. The closest place to get supplies like fuel and food and, and general shopping is the town of Hawker. Now the moment you drive in you can really see how big and vast that little station is. Because there's so much space you can imagine there's quite a few sites. So let's check out the first one which is site 25, the Gangrep. This site is at the beginning of the property and you actually have to drive past to go to the main building where you check in and then come back. As you can see it's very flat and open. This is also the furthest away from any toilet or water or any amenities. Onwards to site 16, Hooknear Heights. In this area, there's also site 15, but they're very far apart. You won't have any issues with privacy. Also, just like the previous site and the next couple that we're gonna show you, you do have to drive past to check in at the main building and come back and you are furthest away from the amenities. and over to site 15, the bridge. Another flat site with plenty of room to set up and also has a lovely backdrop. A bit further down, we have site 17, hooking your flats. And on approach, the first thing you'll see is that there's a portable toilet with the sink. Now this site is quite large and can hold quite a few campers. Whatever the platform you've got here, uh, and if you want a couple of friends to come along, this is a good spot to choose. And I certainly do love meeting new people and having a chat about their experiences. While we've got a moment, here's a rundown. Dogs are allowed. Toilets, showers and bins, camp kitchen, fire pits, touring and hiking tracks, water is available, firewood for sale, intermittent 3G phone reception, you got to pay to stay, suitable for all platforms, easy dirt road entry, there's a tavern. And from above, here's another section of Mount Little Station, yes it just keeps going. How nice are those hills and mountains? Before we check out Lazy Log, Site 59, I know what you're thinking, the number's a bit weird, but that's just how it is. Let's go have a look at these next set of bathrooms. These facilities are really close to Sites 59 and 18. 19 and 20, it's a little bit more of a walk. Unfortunately, the showers in these facilities are not operating, 
so you'll have to go to the cam kitchen. But the toilets are nice and clean, and there is a sink, so no dramas there. And we've arrived at Site 59 Lazy Log. And this is another large site where you can have a few friends come with you and also comes equipped with an adventure playground for the kids. You certainly won't have any problems with room or manoeuvrability and it's extremely flat. This group of people were lovely, so friendly and just wonderful to be around. right along to up the creek site 18. Yet another big site, lots of room, great trees and surroundings, has this awesome fire pit and more friendly people. Once you've arrived at this signpost, you're in the main section. So you can either go right or left, depending on which campsite you're on. We're gonna go right for now and check out these ones along this stretch. And this is Cliff Cutting, Site 21. A Little bit of a scenic drive to get there, but once you're there, nice open space, good fire pit, plenty of room to move and set up. Just a reminder though, a lot of these spaces don't have a lot of shelter. So make sure you bring some sort of shelter with you especially in the warmer months. Now let's roll into site eight. Roy's Rest. From here, the numbers actually start making sense. As you would have seen from the map, this stretch is closest to the camp kitchen, showers, barbecues, other facilities, and flushing toilets. It is a nice size site, easy entry, plenty of room to maneuver, and certainly set up wherever you like with a nice fire pit. This is O'Connell's Outpost, Site 7. As you can see, with this site, you're straight off the road. There's lots of room, but you've got to pick your placement. And also, you're starting to get closer to your neighbours. But you're not too close for it to be a nuisance. And just remember though, you're looking at these lovely hills. I just love the names of these sites. Here's Site 6, Mayo, Wigwam. And it is another site straight off the road, but it's huge. Even a bus can fit in it. Next on the list is Hook Near Inn, and it's not too far off the road, and you get a lovely view of trees, shrubs, hills, and plenty of space. And don't forget, we're also getting closer to the camp kitchen and the amenities.
Back at the road, directly opposite this, is another campsite. Wanoka Rest, Site 24. The best way to describe it is it's a rectangle with a lovely backdrop of the hills. This site, although not on the map, is 5A Hawks Nest. Mountain Hill Station has a few sites that actually aren't on the map and we'll show you them as well. It's another straight off the road site, has a fire pit, has lovely surroundings and plenty of room to move and set up. And if you haven't worked it out already, none of the sites here are powered. Here's Five Ways Dwelling, Site 4. The drive-in is slightly rutted, but it's a nice space, has a great fire pit, and those lovely trees that overlooks that creek line. Auto encampment is right next door, Site 3. This spot is one of the smallest we've seen so far. It is on a slight angle, but has a great view of those trees as well. Let's have a look at the aerial on this side of the station. Here's a camp kitchen. Let's go check this out. As we make our way in, the first building you see is the shower and toilet block. It's well looked after and the pressure from the showers is quite good. The actual kitchen itself is under shelter, has picnic tables, plenty of appliances to cook on, including barbecues, 
has sinks and has a nice outdoor fire pit. If you want to be close to the camp kitchen, site two, Chigwidden Camp is where you want to be. It's another straight off the road site surrounded by trees and a lot closer to those hills. Also, it's not far from the hiking trail. one, Blackie's Camp, is another one close to the camp kitchen and the closest to the hiking trail. It's lovely, it's big, nice seating with those logs there and a nice fire pit. Plenty of room to move with those lovely views all the way around. Is the next section on our journey. Toilets can be found at sites 11 and 12, but for all other amenities you need to go to the camp kitchen. Let's have a look at Stone Stay, which is site 9. It's a large open site, a slight angle when you drive down, but once you get down to the bottom, it's flat. Feel free to set up where you like and enjoy the fire pits and the lovely views. Site 10 Wedgetail Lodge is on an angle and you're out in the open. Tucked away around the corner is Site 22, Mount Little Gully, right at the foot of the hills. There's plenty of space to manoeuvre and pick a spot that's perfect for you to set up. sure you stop by the tavern. We've got footage of our time at the tavern right at the end of this episode. You can pick up a wood oven pizza and on some nights there's live music. On the other side we've got Henchke Lodge, side 11. As you drive in, just be mindful it's a little bit steep. Once you get down the bottom, it's flat as, set up near the fire pit and enjoy the scenery. Site 11 does actually host the toilet and there's two ways in. Let's go check this toilet out. Another portable toilet does have a sink and it's well maintained. I haven't worked out that this place is massive and just have a look at this. And these ranges are just gorgeous.
over yonder, Site 12, Woolly Anna Shelter. Let's have a look. The drive-in is also on a bit of an angle. Once you're down the bottom, plenty of room to set up. And there's even a little nook for the kids to play. Looking from above, you can see the tavern. Let's be honest, how beautiful and stunning is that view? This is why you come to the Flinders. Specific sites, although close to Mount Little and the tavern, to get to the toilets, you pretty much got three options or bring your own. Let's check out Site 13 Elder Park. The drive in is easy enough, a lovely tree line view with the hills. Find that perfect place and enjoy. Let's make our way to Hook in a Lodge, Site 23. Another large spot, two fire pits that are quite separate from each other, so if you wanted to hang out and maybe have kids down the other end and keep partying on, you can certainly do that here. Sites so are also closest to the Mount Little Drive, so if you wanted to go up the top of Mount Little and drive up, these are the closest to it. Mount Little Lookout, Site 60. This is directly opposite the drive to Mount Little. And actually, this is another site that's not on the map. There's Mount Little, and you can see the little road that can take you up right to the top. As we draw near to this mammoth journey, we're at Site 14, Mount Little Lodge. This is where we actually stayed. What a cracker spot. It's actually got two areas. This is the first area with a huge fire pit. Further down, there's another section with its own fire pit and great views. Really did enjoy our time at this spot. We even had donkeys come and visit us. Next site is also not on the map, Hookika Creek Crossing. It's a little bit of a drive to get in there, 
not a huge site, but you've got this gorgeous view right in front of you. Right, these are the last two, 19 and 20. Oh, what a journey, massive place. Let's check these two out. Alpaca Crossing, Site 20. Nice and easy drive in, metal fire pit. Lovely surroundings to camp in. back to site 19 old gum tree another generous site quite private and plenty of room to pick a nice spot to enjoy the serenity I never thought I'd say jam pack and relaxing in the same sentence. But here at Mount Little Station, we have had an absolute jam pack relaxing time. Unbelievable, so many campsites, amazing, lots of privacy, wonderful. And look, the money shot, there it is. Absolutely stunning views. Mount Little Station, thank you very much for having us. And remember, camp by me and you'll be a happy camper. Don't forget to check out our social media. Just search for Camp By Me. Remember to subscribe. Turbo. <laughs> Two days old. <laughs> yes, hi. Can you finish off the yeah, yeah. So I just say, so whose who's birthday is it? Yeah. Oh, and uh, how young are we? 36. Whew. See ya. I'm too old for this group. <laughs> and remember, camp by me. <laughs> there we go. Thank you very much. Yes.